Yes, they are in the transforms. That is the purpose of the ETL tool. Everything is, the code behind is written by them. We will only use that. So, I am putting it as the original thing guys. As I uh, told you that every job should be in the try catch block. Because though when I run, I may not face many issues. But when you run it, you will face some issues for sure. And uh, to end the class, I wanted to show two other very simple transformations guys. If you permit me, I will also do that. Is uh, because it passed 12. I am just requesting you. Why am I trying to do this? Is you have five days. You can practice more things in five days than whatever we have learned so far. That's the reason I wanted to show you two more transformations. If you can allow me for next 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, five minutes is enough for me. Yeah, just to make uh, it useful for you only. Uh, I don't want it to hurry, but then I want it to give you more exercise. So the same customer dimension I am going to take, uh, replicate it, so that I can make use of other transformations also. And I am going to rename it. So the customer dim, I am naming it as transform. So I, I am trying to transform something in here. After the data is loaded. I'm going to transform something here. Let me let me do what I am trying to do and you'll understand. First I have extracted the data. The next step is I actually wanted to validate the data. How I do the validation? I have number of transforms here. For today, let us use a very important transformation here which is a validation transform. I like this transform because this is used in almost all the jobs I have built. Because you'll validate the data before you load. So I connect my query and the validation transform here. See it says pass or fail. This is the importance of it and so I wanted to show you. All the pass records I wanted to pass here whereas I can I can uh, record some failure records which is I am recording as rej underscore customer or cust dim. Let us not change the name. So here I am saying put the fail records here. So what it mean by pass and fail? It is the same as exam. You are going to qualify something as pass and fail in an exam, right? The same thing we will be doing here. So let me take an, as an example. I am taking, I am going to take validate the zip code before you uh, load it. So I say enable validation. The condition is. equal to or actually it should be not null and is null but here because I don't have the data uh, in such a format as null values I wanted to put something there so that it works or I can take region ID yeah that is a better example for you so here instead of uh, zip code I don't want to do the zip code I wanted to do the uh, region so here I will say not enable in the region I wanted to transfer the data only that belongs to region 1 and 2 so I am saying equal to 3 when there is equal to 3 I wanted to reject the data I, I wanted to reject the data due to some other reason that is the business rule I had so when when the region is equal to 3 I wanted to take an action on it Send to fail or send to pass or send to both. These are all the three options I have. When a region ID is equal to 3, I want it to send it to fail. In rest of the cases, I want it to send it to pass. So that's all is a simple validation I wanted to do. Do not validate when it is null. That's okay. If I check it or not, at this moment, I don't have any issues because there are no null values. That's all I do. I am going to validate it. The job is fine. So what you understand is you can bypass the records in two ways saying if a condition is valid put the records here. If a condition is invalid move the records here. So I am going to run this particular job. This is all the exercise we don't have in tutorial guys. So please try to though it is 12 10 and for I know for guys in India it is 1 o'clock but you are young and energetic guys. Who will keep boozing till 2 o'clock, chit chatting about girls till 4 o'clock. 
so still you can bear with me till one o'clock though i'm uh, eating your brain a little bit with too much of terminology and technology here but this is very important part of the life too so let us not worry about a day that too on a saturday uh, night for indians it is sunday night but uh, nothing i can do over it guys you have to tolerate me so now the data is loaded you know one bad thing i did i should have created one more table but that's fine um let me go here and then show you and finally when i give you the job i'm going to create one more table so it got loaded into the customer okay it doesn't want uh, me to double click on it so customer dim is the one which i used guys select the 100 rows see oh you know it did the opposite i i think i missed something there so when it is equal to 3 i wanted actually to send it to fail but it has sent it to pass the reason is validation uh, has to happen in the reverse way because when it is equal to two, 3 it is a success for it it is not a fail for it right so only if it would have failed it would send to something so now revert the case i am saying if the region id is 3 then load it into the successful records if the region id is other than 3 fail the records and load it into the reject records so let us say in data warehouse as i told you it is subject oriented data i wanted to uh, uh, build the data warehouse only for that subject uh, which is uh, region id 3 in the same way i am doing it here so it shouldn't be very tough to understand this validation transform except that pass rows and fail rows so let me run here and see here the other records are here 1 2 3 1 2 4 are being filtered and they are rejected validation rule region id fail so if it is 3 it is successful so it went there if it is other than 3 it failed and it came here and it put the error region saying this is false and this is the error record that is one important transform i want you to understand and also let me show you at the same time one other important transform and we will end the session guys. just bear two more minutes you can practice it and come back with your n number of questions 100 questions and buzz me on that i'm going to make use of case transform which is also similar to validation transform but it can do little more than the validation transform validation can do and bypass records only in two ways but let us say i have three ways when someone asks you a question, do you want to eat an ice cream? Half of the crowd says yes, the rest of the crowd says no. But there is one person in between, the logical person that is Ganesh. He will not, he will neither say no nor say yes. He want to be in between. If someone gets the ice cream, I will also eat. If someone doesn't get the ice cream, I will, I will starve. So, for that logical guy, I wanted to do one more data flow here. Let me do it very quickly. So I say, uh, I rename it as uh, validation guys, so that it is easy for you to remember, validation and I use the same transform, I mean I use the same data flow, I am replicating it and now I am renaming it and instead of validation I wanted to put case. These will all serve you as exa examples. These are called blueprints, guys. When someone wants to uh, use uh, use a uh, what is it? <sighs> when someone wants to use the a transform and could not follow what is happening in this, you can make use of this kind of uh, transform. So in here, instead of original table, I wanted to actually put uh, one more customer dim table. Customer underscore dim underscore uh, validation. So that you will relate it what we are trying to do. So this is for the validation. Uh, I wanted to uh, do a pass here. So this will be here. This is also a template table. It gets created. And in the case transform, I actually wanted to uh, remove this and use case transform, which is this one. And I know this is not going to be very easy for you to understand all at once, guys. So don't worry about it at least don't care about it it is a learning exercise after two weeks you will come back and say me do you know this option i saw this is something new share me please i am open for that because i don't say i am the master of data warehousing or etl tool uh, 
uh, data services there is always some missing thing that we may or may not learn so if you find something new please share it to me it is knowledge sharing right so research on q any uh, any new thing come back and say this is what i learned i will also learn from you i am open for that so in the case transform let us see what will happen i am connecting i wanted the default rows to flow here default let me go into case and then define what it is then come back and say what i want it to do now here i wanted to go by region id the same thing i want to create different different case here add expression case 1 i will say region 1 expression is okay r e g i o n one so expression you can give it uh, where is it uh, add expression what has happened mm. Why is it not giving me an option here to modify it? Uh, R E G I O N one. Somewhere I'm missing something. So let me look for it. So I wanted to add this as a case, so I say add. Okay, because there is no condition, it failed. But I will have to give a condition here. Case one is region one. So uh, let me get the region ID is equal to one and put it into this particular case. So R E G I O N one. There is a name conflict. Okay, I should have used it already. Uh, doesn't matter. Let it be case one. That's fine. Uh, something went wrong that it got stored and and it is killing me now. So case two. i can say the same region id is equal to 3 or let me keep it as 2 only add case 3 region uh, i don't want to type because you can make a typo mistake so instead i want to copy it here or drag and drop yeah we have an add button here on the right hand side when you say add it will give you it will prompt you that you can add new and uh, after it prompts you you are going to drag and drop whatever the column you want and it will automatically create the label and you can always rename rename the label okay yeah now i validate it i know there is going to be one error uh, because of the region uh, because the region field was empty but i i am not able to find Where they are going here? I ah uh, here you see, it just was covered. Uh, I can remove this case, delete expression. So we have three cases. If region one, it is case one. Region two, case two. Region three, case three. Region four, then it is default. So I can connect it to more than one places. That is what is important. You see here, case one, case two, case three, and default. So I want it to reject if it is case three. but i want it to load into different table if it is case one that is the priority i am trying to do here you can load it into more than one tables or based on more than one conditions you can do this so i will say case one just for the heck of it only for understanding purpose guys don't take them in the literal sense what is this case one and case two just to make you understand i am trying to do this and this this will serve you as a blueprint and one more table i'm saying cast dim underscore case two whatever the case could be here we are trying to understand how to make use of these transforms that's all we are trying to do. 